What's going on guys, I'm here and today I'm going over my gameplay, what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right, what can I do to possibly make my situation better, and also going over what not to do in terms of other players gameplay. But before I get started, make sure you hit that like button and sub. Alright, so I am using the replay system once again, yes, okay, leave me alone. And things might look a little bit wonky and all that nonsense, but it's a quick way for me to interact in the game zoom out the camera just all kinds of edits i can do uh, well that aren't edits they're just me you know <laughs> doing my own thing and right now i just uh, sat down started looting looking through making sure i have a um, armor and helmet first thing i look for besides a gun if the gun's in there as soon as i land i'm getting the gun now i know someone landed near me or they floated over me and landed near me i took that information now i'm looking for them and I don't find him for a while, and uh, I just, you see me, like, ducking and stuff. And the reason why I'm doing that is because if someone, like, shoots, then I duck. And that could be a potential, uh, you know, miss for them. And um, also, like, it's kind of, I don't even know how, what, what started that? Like, the, the crouch, stand up, crouch, stand up, crouch. I don't know. I, I think it's just, you don't want to get shot in the head, so, like, so much that you just do that and honestly it helps in terms of uh like when you're getting shot at from a distance you like you go forward you stop you you want you pick down or you uh you crouch down and then you turn left turn right spin around you know do a little ballerina tricks and that way that will they'll miss all the shots because they're you're unpredictable they don't know where to go where to shoot in terms of their aim so uh right now i'm st i'm still looting but i'm very, being very cautious now the uh, like i said there's someone in here somewhere we're gonna find him maybe i don't know i know he landed so i'm like cautiously looking through the buildings and i'm i'm not actually using my tab uh, tab to loot either i'm looking down and looting except that was a tab loot i think uh but yeah i'm looking down not all the way down so that way i have my uh my gun in the center of the view and I can instantly just tap uh, someone in the head and I uh, I don't hear anything like I know he's here but where are you bro all right like where are you now I have c4 okay I picked up c4 so that will allow me to at least flush him out I guess but like I said I don't know where he's at so I'm probably gonna waste his c4 anyway right but I've, I searched all the way around here. The only way, the only place he could be is back behind here to my right. Now, as the plane flies over, drowning out. Oh, and all right. Well, I know he has a shotgun now, so I have to be extra, extra careful. So I throw the C4 in the direction I heard the shots. I see for a med kit. I go for that. That's very important. Not really. You should just run if you hear a shot. Uh, and then uh, reposition. Not run away, just reposition. <laughs> All right, now I back up from the C4 because I don't know how powerful C4 is and I have a thermal So that's another thing in this map. I do I found two back-to-back -back thermals in, in uh In two back-to-back -back games of a candy the, the night mode uh, I don't know if the thermal scopes are like more of a spawn rate in these maps uh, Or in the like the the dark area, but yeah, it was crazy um, so I saw him I spotted him with the thermal and I know he's in there. I I hear I heard something to the to the left. I thought he was gonna go out, but he's just sitting in there. All right. Now this is the beauty of uh of the replay system. He's just sitting in there, just looking. I and he he's waiting for me to push. All right. Now his biggest mistake was shooting that shotgun. I know he has a shotgun. I know the shotgun can one tap me, if if he gets a lucky enough shot. And I, did, I guess he, oh, uh, he shot that door open. That's what he did. And now I know for a fact he's right here in front of me. And all I got to do is, oh, I, I saw him. And then I'm, I'm predicting his movement here. He runs out, shoots me once. That could have been deadly if he hit a headshot at least. Shot me once. And yeah, that was the end of that. I uh, killed him. But I let, you see what I did there. I let him come out to me. And it could have been ugly if I pushed him because he would have the advantage on the shotgun. He still had a really nice advantage on me, but luckily I, he pushed out and I was the one that succeeded in that fight. 
And I'm just going to continue looting, uh, especially, well, I don't need any more 9 mil. I got plenty of, I got plenty of ammo to at least survive for a while. And um, I don't have mu uh, that many meds, so I need more meds. It was kind of hard finding meds in this game. I don't know why. Um, and then my next game, I couldn't find armor, so that was pretty cool. It was either meds or armor. I, I pick one and choose, I guess. Um, so I have a smoke grenade gun, right? And do you need to pick up smoke grenades when you already have one? Uh, when you already have a smoke grenade gun? I mean, it depends on how many uh, smoke grenades you have uh, in terms of for that gun. And I basically pick up extra smokes just in case. If I only have like a couple of those uh, to shoot out in the world. And I, um, what happened there was I had network lag. So the game detected network lag. And then I stood there for about a good few seconds. And it pushed me forward. I thought I was about to disconnect. And that would have been bad. Especially this game. That This game would have been uh, kind of bad in terms of that. Because this was a pretty fun game. Uh, luckily this night I didn't get a chicken dinner, but I got a lot of, uh, top 10 situations. So that was, it's, it's more about the adrenaline for me. Uh, someone pointed out in chat. I said it wasn't, for me, it's not about the wins. It's just about getting to that position of, uh, about to get the win or top position because it, it gets more fun because you're just going to get into more fights and well, you can get into fights on the way to that position, but you're more prone to just have way more like random ass fights. You know, the, f um, when you get closer to the end, the fights become more controllable in terms of you knowing, uh, who's going to be where or what. And I have a thermal scope, so I know who's going to be anywhere and until we get close enough to where I, um, I don't really want to use the thermal scope. And honestly, this, uh, when I have the thermal scope, I will have an extra scope with me, like an extra four times or, uh, six times or whatever and and because of that is I can't see my um, my tracers in the thermoscope so I don't know where exactly depending on how far the target is I'm using SKS but in depending on how far the target is I'm not gonna see that drop so I, that's a pretty important thing to see <laughs> and when you're shooting at someone especially from a distance now, right now, I spot someone. At least I thought I did. It looked like someone was going across, but I think it might have just been the vehicle there. Right now, I'm uh, I'm going to skip ahead just a little bit. All I'm doing is basically running up and just finding a place to bunker down until the circle comes in. And as you see, here I am. And, well, clearly. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, I just had to point that out. Now, crazy thing happened this game. While I was uh, while I was right here in this area, um, yeah, I'm, sh I'm shooting at a guy from a distance. I sw uh, so I basically swap my thermal scope, and then I I swap to my 4x. I like I swapped them both. Now the crazy thing is, uh, I actually hit this guy too, but I didn't kill him. Is this guy right here? Now this is the part of the of uh, the video where I'm going to tell you what not to do in this game, and it's it's this guy right here. I remember his name too, all so well, all so well. It looks like he's lagging. The the way he, he skips forward, quite a quite a bit. Now, he hears me shoot. I hope so. I really do hope so because I'm literally up there shooting. And the the thing he does is this, it baffles me how players play like this. And all right, he's scoping out. I, dude, he really looks like a bot. And then he's, he prones. I don't, I don't, I guess bots do prone, do they? I don't really know. But he prones out right here and he's just, he just stays there. While I'm down here shooting my ass off. Kicking some ass, bro. Missing all my shots. Destroying this vehicle. Yeah. Yeah, you, you get it, Islam. I see all the vehicles. I'm, uh, I got plenty of ammo, so I, I don't really need to, like, do anything with my ammo there and here I am swapping <laughs> swapping it's a pretty neat thing to do I see I see that guy I see him right 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 there but well the game me doesn't see him uh, also well like I lose track of him I see him right now yeah I, I lost track of him and then I just say I don't know the I know like the the, the reticle drop on where to where to uh, the height of the reticle but 
I can't really see where I'm shooting because I can't see the tracer. Um, it looks like they might be getting into a fight over there. Nades are going to go off and stuff. Unless, yeah, I didn't hear any nades, but there was in the game when I, I remember this game very vividly. Um, so this is where I go back and try to clear my six and, and this is where the, uh, this, this little guy right here shoots at me. It, what, what's crazy is how I'm, uh, I'm looking all over the place. And I just don't, I don't see him. But the also the other crazy thing is, is how he's looking at me, bro. And he's missing. I thought he had a Mosin at first. This gun sounds like a Mosin from a distance, but he misses, bro. He freaking misses. I don't know where he's at, but I have a thermal scope, and this is where uh, uh, he's actually standing up right now. Okay, so he's standing up. I do. I feel like this is a bot. But the the way that the way it just plays out, it um I just feel like bots don't use uh, scopes. But I I see him. I shoot. Now in the the actual video, he wasn't standing up. He was proned out. I don't know why it shows him standing up. But in the actual game, I'll I'll show the gameplay. Uh, actual gameplay of it. But he was proned out. Why doesn't the replay system show that? I'll, I'll show it to you and then I'll let you decide because in the actual game he was still proned out and I was as I was shooting at him he he was still crawling like as if I couldn't see him or, or something but yeah he was still crawling and uh, well I killed him because of it. Oh, he's proned out. Why do people play like that? <laughs> Why do people play like that, bro? And uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I th I think I see something there, but I think it I don't know if it's a vehicle or not. It might be a vehicle, so I'm gonna go and uh, clear the, the edge out here, and <laughs> it's just crazy how how people play like that. No one is co no one's around here, and I knew this from my thermal scope. Uh, I knew everyone else is all over there and no one else is over here. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. Now I don't see anyone for a very long time. And my position is I'm going to clear everything out. Uh, make sure I'm, I'm good to loot. And that's what I'm doing. I'm looting. And the best spot for me to go is up that hill for when the circle comes in again. And I'll, uh, we'll go over why. I went back up to clear out everything and make sure that uh, those guys over there were done fighting or if I could at least get a pick off, but I don't see anyone. So now where the circle goes, uh, I, I go in far left. I know that there's people over there and yes, I'd get a potential fight and sure I, I won't mind fighting, but I also know that there's this a gigantic ass lumber yard <laughs> right there in, in. So I think my best bet in terms of survivability is to go far right. And that's what I do. I go far right. And as I go far right, I use my thermal scope. I, I peek, try to try to clear everything out. Now I know I'm cleared out, cleared out from the right side, but I don't know on my left side over the hill if there's anyone there. And that's where it becomes a little bit uh, suspect for me to, you know, survive here because I know someone's got to be hiding somewhere right sure enough uh, looking at this replay system there is someone there and uh I don't exactly know what they're doing well I think it's a yeah it's a bot never mind doesn't it doesn't count doesn't doesn't count it's a bot listen it's NA man <laughs> a, lo a lot of people in NA just don't play anymore <laughs> I swear <laughs> So as a uh, circle's coming in, I'm uh, doing my best to clear out as fast as possible with my thermoscope. And now there is a guy to my left. 
I don't know that yet, but he's looting the crate. And honestly, bro, if I should have peeked the left side instead of going all the way over. But I was afraid that someone was going to be over here and then look it back at me when it could have been the other way around. So I, 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 I'm fully boosted. Make sure you always keep your uh, boost. If you have plenty of boost, make sure you just throw boost on because um, you can survive headshots depending on the gun. Um, you can survive level two headshots with a dragon off. And if you have a level two helmet and you can survive, uh, I think car 98 too, unless they've changed that. But that was back in the day. That was a thing. Um, so yeah, I, I actually today I survived a headshot from a dragon off with level two helmet and fully boost. Uh, I was fully boosted. So that's good to know. It's good information to know. Um, you're not always going to be fully boosted. Uh, I, you don't need four bars. You just need three. So yeah, it's, it's good information because that gun is scary. When someone lands a headshot, you're dead. Like what, what else are you going to do about it? Now the guys down, nobody does anything for a while. And my position is getting pretty hectic. And the problem is, is this guy down here to my left? I don't know. He's there. And I don't know. There's a guy, dude, there's a guy standing up there. Is he like on top of a building or something? Bro, what is he doing? Oh, that's the Gilly guy. Oh. Now, what is this? Oh, he's up in the tower. Bro, he's got a good spot. He has got a really good spot, but it's not that great of a spot in terms of if someone looks up at him, he's dead. But he's got a good spot to, uh, to kill bots, apparently, because he killed that bot. And he's got a thermal scope. The problem is, is he can't see anything because of Cyclone, I guess. Um, that's pretty good Cyclone right there. Bro, how did... Dude, he can't see anyone right now. Wow. That is... That's pretty, uh, that's pretty clever by the, uh, this. So, you uh, Typically, if, uh, you have, like, uh, the Sandstorm in Miramar or... Oh, wait. Oh, I was about to say he's gonna die. Anyway, if you have a sandstorm in Miramar or if you have the cyclone, it's really good to use that to move. Because before I had the sandstorm in Miramar and I was like, dude, I have to go across a bridge, uh, across the water onto the other side. Like it was a really, really south ending. And <laughs> the only way was to go to the bridge. And you know, bridge campers, you, all, you always know it. Because you do it. I do it. I don't care. If I can get a pick off of someone on a bridge, I'm going to do it. But uh, the storm came in. I was like, oh, shit, I'm going to use this to my advantage. And I moved in with this. Uh, I moved in. And then I got I placed number two in that game. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a second placer. I, I'm not a winner, you know. <laughs> All right. So I hear shots. People are killing, uh, killing each other while I'm sitting here waiting. I don't like the storm right now because at the moment it's uh, being irritating. And if I move around into the storm and over, I lose all sense of my uh, surroundings like in terms of well if i don't hear gunshots and i know this guy was right here i did probably need to stay here and just kind of look around while the storm uh, subsides or goes away whatever and i do that and i move up a little bit though because we have 40 seconds i need to get position and this is where it becomes kind of a uh, pinchy you know third party whatever you want to call it I could ease, I'm right in the middle of all three of these people. And it, you really, it's solos, right? If you die uh, in solos, you don't have that duo or squad partner where if all your squad mates are alive, you're knocked. And you, you just don't have that in solos. And, and you can't know everything. So there's, like I said, there's no shame in backing off the fight, healing up, going back, or, or anything. And uh, yeah, so. At this moment in time, the left side guy is moving. He moved outside the building. And see, I, I will bunker down in a building, right? But I'll also peek out and, and shoot and look at my surroundings. I just I just don't like it when people don't use that to their, their advantage. Like that guy was in that building. Yeah, you'll give your position away. But the thing is to take out as many people as possible, especially in, in we're top four right now. Now, the, the guys on my left, I hear shots on my right, so I'm going to use that to my advantage um, and try to, like, and try to like, take this guy out because he's he's shooting. Now, the guy to my left can easily see me. 
and I look, but I don't see anything, so I assumed it was clear, and, well, I'm wrong. So, they, they took each other out. Uh, his level, his level three armor, like, saved him. And I do the craziest thing right now, is I proned out, and he has complete cover on me. And he's got a ghillie, of course. Dude, why has everyone got a ghillie suit? Yep. Now, the reason why I proned out was because I figured this was covering me. This little tree was covering me. And I was wrong. Because <laughs> he's right there. He's right there. He has complete... Yeah, <laughs> there was no way. Proning out wouldn't, wouldn't be the play. Um, I have smokes. That's the thing I just did not do. I did not use my smoke grenade gun. And I should have done it. But in these times, you don't think about using stuff like that. <sighs> Until you go back. <laughs> yeah, so that's the, that's the thing. Uh, as soon as I got shot, I should have switched the gun. I should have got behind this this uh, tree stop right here. And then I popped the, the, the gun. But the reason why I proned out, I was starting to heal. And then this guy started to push me. Or I heard him, like, push or walk, running away or something. And, well, he goes back to loot. Or, no, he goes back to prone. I get, yeah, and loot. And, and I guess recoup. But, yeah, the crazy thing is I didn't use the smokes, the uh, my smoke grenade. And that's, that cost me. I, did, I just immediately prone because I assumed I was covered already. And I wasn't. So, yeah, it's a, that was a pretty good fight, pretty good game. But at the same time, I could have played this completely different. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and sub. And I hope it helps you in the future to making good decisions. Clearly, I didn't make good decisions here. But I can, I can go back and then tell you uh, what you could do right and wrong in a game. Um, and just think. I, in my position, I just need to think clear clearly. And in the other guy's position, he just doesn't need to, just don't prone out in the middle of a field, especially when people have thermals and the candy. <laughs> like that, that one was crazy. All right. But anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.